Let us learn how to submit an item. You need to log in first into the DSpace using your login ID and password. Logged in user to go to the user profile section and click on my DSpace link. Users can drag and drop attachments in this section to start the submission. In this video, we will start submission from the menu on the left. Click on the item link under the plus icon. Enter the target collection name in the pop-up or select a collection from the list. During the item submission process, we will focus on entering the value in key metadata fields, and some new features like changing collection, sequencing author names, and defining access policies. Click on Browse to upload attachments. Click on the collection drop-down menu to change the target collection. Add author name. Click on add more to add more author names. Drag the author name upwards by clicking the icon on its left to change its sequence. Enter title of the item. Enter the date by selecting year, month and date in its respective fields. Users can only enter year as well. Select the type from the drop-down list. Followed by the language selection. Users can select keywords from a controlled vocabulary attached with a DSpace or can enter custom keywords. Enter longer text values and descriptive fields like abstract, description, etc. Let us update the properties of attachments added to the item. Users can update the attachment title. The default value is the file name uploaded. Add a description to the attachment. Let us take a look at various access policies that users can define for attachments. The first one is the open access policy. Attachment with this policy will be accessible to all users. Users can select a lease policy for attachments, whose access needs to be restricted after a specific date in the future. The embargo policy help users in granting open access to an attachment from a specific date in the future. This is precisely the opposite of the lease policy. Finally, the administrator policy grants access rights to users with administrator rights only. For the demo purpose, we will continue with the open access policy. Click on the discard button, followed by yes, I am sure button to discontinue the submission. Users will lose all the information populated in the submission form by continuing. Click on the Save button to save the draft information populated in the submission form. Click on the Save for Later button if the user wants to continue item submission in the future. Click on the Deposit button to complete the item submission. Users will see a success prompt upon successful item submission and will be redirected to the MyDSpace page.